Hello, welcome to our Samuel Lowry Weaver Shop. My name is Laura and today we're going to be talking about weaving. Did you know weaving is considered one of the oldest crafts dating back 12,000 years ago? Now behind me I have a whole bunch of looms and this is how weaving was often done when you were making clothing, blankets, rag rugs, placemats, and I have some examples here in front of me. So weaving is the process where the strings go over and under as you thread through. I'm going to get to show you how to do this at home by making placemats using some paper. So if you're ready, grab some paper, some scissors, and let's get started. To make your placemat, you're going to first start with a piece of paper. I'm using this scrap recycling paper, but you're welcome to use colored paper or recycling as well. You're going to take your piece of paper and fold it in half like this, right down the middle. Then you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to start about two and a half centimeters from the edge and you're going to cut along stopping just before you get to the end of the piece of paper. Then you're going to move over and do the same thing until you've completed all the strips all the way down the piece of paper. I've made this one already. You're welcome to cut in wavy lines as well. It might be easier for your first time to do straight lines. Then you're going to cut little strips that are going to be weaved into your placemat. I have these colored pieces of paper here already all set up. So you want them to be about two and a half centimeters wide. And once you've got that all ready, you pick out your colors, we'll start weaving them. Now that you've got your strips of paper cut, you're going to take your first color of choice and you're going to thread it over and under all the way through the piece of paper. Once you've completed this all the way down, you have your first strip of weaving. You're going to take your next color and you're going to do the opposite. If you went over last time, you're going to go under this time. If you went under last time, you're going to go over this time. So do the same motion all the way down through your piece of paper. Now that you have two strips done, I'm going to let you finish the rest yourself. Make sure to continue on this pattern. I hope you had fun weaving with me today. Here's my placemat and I'm sure yours looks just as good. You can use many different color variations to make them look different and you can make them for your friends and family. So have fun weaving and decorating your table.